Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of the brand new net flick, In the Tall Grass. Let's do it. In the Tall Grass is a drama horror thriller from director Vincenzo Natali and Netflix. Based on the novella by Stephen King and Joe Hill, the film stars Liza de Oliveira, Avery Witted, Patrick Wilson, Will Buey Jr., Harrison Gilbertson, and Rachel Wilson. After hearing a young boy's cry for help, a sister and brother venture into a vast field of tall grass in Kansas, but soon discover there may be no way out, and that something evil lurks within. So I'm a huge Stephen King fan, and I've enjoyed the couple of Joe Hill books that I've read as well, and before seeing this flick I was like, have I read In the Tall Grass? I can't remember. I watched the movie. I've definitely not read it. Now, I don't want to bury the lead, and I'm pretty sure my thumbnail gave it away, but I was not a fan of this movie. Having said that, let's talk about the good first. I thought a lot of the acting in the movie was pretty weak. However, Lysla de Oliveira and Harrison Gilbertson, neither of whom I'm familiar with, both gave pretty solid performances. I'm not sure if I liked Patrick Wilson's performance or not. I keep going back and forth on that. I will say it seems like he was having a great time. Now, visually, this movie is pretty darn cool. Sure, a lot of it is just the camera moving through a bunch of grass, but there are a number of sequences that are absolutely stunning to look at, particularly later in the film when it starts getting a little bit more surreal. And it's shot really well, too. There's some incredible, like, macro photography going on. Really, really cool. And I liked some of the ideas that were presented in the movie, some of the metaphors. That stuff was fun stuff to chew on. But this movie is also a slog to get through. It's an hour and 41 minutes. I had to take a break in the middle because I was so bored. Now, granted, it does really really pick up in the third act, but I was already kind of out at that point. And I'm not exaggerating all that much when I say the first 40 minutes is literally just people walking through grass going, Becky? Cal? Travis? Tobin? Becky? Over and over and over again. And the dialogue, not so good either. And the movie is also really, really repetitive. I get that is part of the function of the plot, but it still gets really tiring by the end. And I never felt tense at any point. Sure, if I was living this in real life, I'd be freaking terrified. But in this movie, I just I never felt it. Now, this movie is very Stephen King. I was recognizing that guy's fingerprints all over it. I don't want to say any specifics for spoiler purposes, but if you know his work, you'll be able to pick out like Vintage King, Vintage King, Vintage King. And I think it's one of those situations where the story just doesn't translate well to the screen. Now I'm really kind of curious to read the novella. I have a feeling it would be more claustrophobic than the movie ever got. Now I'm not gonna say, run, do not watch this movie. But for what it's worth, I will say, Kinda wish I'd played video games instead. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give In the Tall Grass, and I think I'm gonna give In the Tall Grass a... Cal? Becky! Becky! Travis? Becky! Out of 10. So now I want to know, have you seen In the Tall Grass? What did you think about it? What is your favorite Stephen King movie of all time? Have you read the novella? Is it good? Is it better than the movie? Should I read it? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.